Okie dokie, today I'm talking about Punnett squares, but in this sense I'm going to be talking about with uh, sickle cell and the sickle cell cross. So we have three types of individuals. Um, AA, this is going to be totally normal. Um, this is going to be a carrier, or it has the trait. And then SS is going to be, you have sickle cell. And so basically what happens with this disease, normally your red blood cells are shaped like this, shaped like little donuts. They, they're round and have a dimple in them. But with sickle cell, you get some cells that look more like sticks, kind of, and so they can coagulate and cause problems. But the reason you would want this is in East African lowlands, you have mosquitoes that fly around with malaria, and this offers malaria resistance. So these are resistant to malaria. And so in, in African people, we see this trait come up a lot more often. There's a lot more people with sickle cell. Now, if we were to cross um, two normal people, so we do AAAA, we, would, we can see that we would get all normal. Same with all sickle cell people. But if we do a heterozygous cross of AS and AS, actually, let me explain first. So in the first one we did, we had big A, little a. But instead of the recessive trait, we're going to use an S instead. So the only difference is that a little a and a big S, they're the same. That's the only difference between this and this, the uh, previous one and this example. So we'd have big A, big A. This big A would come over here with the S, this big A with the S, and then S, S. So if we have two heterozygous parents, we're going to get the 1 to 1 ratio once again. So we'd have one normal kid. If we if they had five kids, or if we did this is five crosses, or excuse me, four crosses, we would expect one normal kid, um, two carriers of the trait, and then one kid to have sickle cell. And that's how we would expect that to go. Now, if you're a parent that has a carrier, and then, so let's say, and I'll, I'll get into trees in a little bit, but if we have a parent that is a carrier, and then a normal parent, if we do the cross, then we can see that we'll have big A, big A, big A, big A, big A, S, big A, and then an S. So we'd have a one-to-one -one ratio. Um, every, out of four kids, we would expect two to ha be normal. So that would be those two. And, because really it'd be two to two, but that reduces to one-to-one, -to -one, and these two sickles would come over here, so we would get two that would our carriers. So, in a cross with a homozygous dominant and heterozygous individual, we would only see carriers in normal people. So, in a if a couple came and was wondering if they could have kids that would have sickle cell, the answer would be no. They can't make offspring that would have the sickle cell trait. So, that's a couple sickle cell crosses, and I hope that was helpful.